I'm Brian, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Amazon Workspace's image creation failures. Let's get started. Workspace image creation can fail for several reasons. Some common causes for Amazon Workspace image creation failures are you reach the limit for the number of workspaces images in a region. There is a default limit of 40 workspace images in each AWS region. If you reach this limit, the new attempts to create an image fail. To resolve this issue, you can either request limit increase using service quotas or remove an existing image that's no longer in use. Let's see how to request a limit increase. Open the AWS Management Console in the region where we want to create the new image. Then, enter service quotas in the search bar. Select the service quotas service. On the left side of the page, choose AWS Services. In the search bar, enter workspaces and then select Amazon Workspaces. Now, from the displayed list of service quotas, select Images. Choose the Request Quota Increase button. Enter a new value in the Change Quota Value field. Choose the Request button. If you're using an encrypted workspace, image creation from an encrypted workspace is not supported. If Windows Workspace's image validation fails, follow these troubleshooting steps as applicable to resolve the validation error. Deactivate or uninstall any antivirus software or security agents that might prevent a successful image creation. All application services running on the workspace must use a local system account instead of domain user credentials. If the application service uses a domain account, change the service account to one of the following according to the service requirements. Local system, local service, network service. Keep your user profile size under 10 gigabytes. Verify that only the user profile data that is required as part of the image is present on the workspace. Verify that the C drive has free space equal to at least the user profile size plus 2 gigabytes. For example, if the user profile size is 10 gigabytes, then the C drive must have at least 12 gigabytes of free space. The PowerShell execution policy in a workspace must be set to allow remote signed scripts. To verify the value, run the get execution policy PowerShell command. If it's not set to unrestricted or remote signed, then run the set execution policy execution policy remote sign command to change the value of the execution policy. This setting lets you run scripts on workspaces. Running scripts is required to create an image. Verify that workspaces is updated with the latest patches to prevent interruptions in the image creation process because of Windows updates. Workspaces image creation can fail if Windows updates are missing or if the workspace isn't updated with the latest patches. The workspace that you're using to test image creation with must not be assigned to a user within a domain guest group. To verify if there are any domain accounts, run the following command. Determine if there is a pending reboot for a Windows update. The image creation process fails when a reboot is pending. Go to Start, go to Settings, go to Updates and Security, verify your patches are up to date and there's no reboots pending. The following components are required in an image. Without these components, the workspaces that you launch from the image won't function correctly. Windows PowerShell version 3.0 or later, Remote Desktop Services, AWS PV drivers, Windows Remote Management, Teradici PC over IP agents and drivers, STX HD agents and drivers, AWS and Workspaces certificates, and the Skylight agent. The status of the workstation must be available and its modification state must be none. Open the console, go to Workspaces, select on Workspaces, all applications to be included in the image must be installed outside the user volume. The root volume must be less than 97% full. From the Linux command prompt, run df-ht. 
The following components are required in an image. Without these components, the workspaces that you launch from the image won't function correctly. Cloud init, Teradici PC over IP agents and drivers, and the Skylight agent. Smart card on Linux workspaces. To use smart cards on Linux workspaces with the workspaces streaming protocol activated, see the link Use Smart Cards for Authentication in the video description. This page provides information about the customizations that you must make to your Linux workspace before creating your image. Copy profile fails. For Windows 10 workspaces, any files from the user profile that are intended for the image must be manually copied to the C user's default. This method can fail if the profile path for any of the folders within the user profile is longer than 260 characters, appropriate permissions aren't present on the profile folder, Make sure that full privileges are assigned on the profile folder for the system and all application packages. Some group policy objects restrict access to the RDP certificate thumbprint when requested by EC2 config or EC2 launch. In this case, first move the workspace to a new organizational unit with blocked inheritance and no policies applied, then create the image. A workspace is newly created. A newly created workspace takes approximately 20 minutes for that workspace to move from the pending state to the available state. While the workspace is pending, you can't create images. For a recently created workspace, wait until it becomes available before attempting to create a custom image. If your workspace is stuck in pending, then see the link Why am I unable to create a new workspace in the video description. Other troubleshooting steps. If you still can't create an Amazon workspace's image, then follow these troubleshooting steps. If your workspace has a firewall turned on, then verify the firewall isn't blocking any necessary ports. Certain ports are required for downloading scripts that are used for image creation. Reboot the workspace to be sure that all AWS components are running updated versions. Run the test-wsman command to verify the WS man service is started and configured for automatic startup. From PowerShell, enter test-ws man to show running. Run services.msc command. Verify that the applications installed are sysprep compatible. For more information and prerequisites for custom image creation, See the link Create a Custom Workspaces Image and Bundle along with other AWS documentation in the video description. And now you know how to troubleshoot workspace image creation failures. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>